Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. It's your girl Tamika and I am back with a mini rant of mine. I'm going to be really short because I'm getting ready to go to the strip club. Going to make it rain on some hoes, do some little scenic. But I just wanted to say, um, so I made a video uh, a couple of days ago um, about how a lot of people say that atheists have no meaning in life. And some of the responses that I have been getting um, are a little on the negative side, mainly from uh, Christians. Um, I don't usually debate religion with Christians because it's usually a one-sided conversation. It's a one-way street. And you're not going to change my mind. I'm not going to change your mind. So why even try to debate? But here is a little advice um, for the Christians who do decide to um, come on my post or come to other atheists to try to convert us or change our minds about things. When you talk to an atheist, do not, and I repeat, do not use the Bible as a credible source. Because we're just going to look at you and we're probably just going to laugh and write off anything that you have to say after that. The Bible is complete with fallacies, misconceptions, and contradictions. We read the Bible. We know the Bible. It's, it's ludicrous. Use your own words. Do not use the Bible. Don't tell me that Jesus died for my sins because that's what you read in the Bible. To me, that is completely and utter trash. You mean to tell me that your God did all of this to create a son, raise him for 30 years, put him through all of this stuff just to kill him, to save us, from the sins that your God created. How does that ever make sense to you? How does that ever make sense to you? Look, you got giants in the Bible. You got talking donkeys in the Bible. You got God killing children because they make fun of a bald-headed priest. You got women turning into salt. You got 500-year-old men making babies. Come on. Seriously, that's all fairy tale. Don't come to us talking about, well, the Bible says. The Bible says a lot of crazy shit, just to be honest with you. The Bible says a lot of crazy shit. So if you want to have a logical conversation with an atheist, do not come to us talking about what the Bible says. Because as far as I'm concerned, the Bible is one big fairy tale. If I want to discuss Harry Potter, Slytherin, hey, Slytherin's in the house, I'm going to quote Harry Potter. Because it's fake. And we're discussing what is. So, here's a little advice to Christians. If you're going to debate religion with an atheist or, any, or anybody else from any other religion don't use the Bible don't quote the Bible it's ludicrous I mean and that's just it read it for yourselves and I'm sure you guys have read have read it and say oh you're taking it out of context no it's very much in the context animal sacrifices top burning bushes that are talking People part in seas. It sounds like a really bad written saga. Sounds like something written by Homer. Full of incest and gore and other unimaginable things. So that was just my short rant. Here's advice to you Christians. Don't. Just don't. Don't come to me with the Bible. Because... I'm not going to take you serious. As soon as you quote the Bible, I write you off. And it may not sound fair to other people, but I don't care. So, yeah, that was me. Leave your comments below. Um, let me know other things that you want me to talk about. Um, and, I don't know, let me know how I'm doing. Because I don't, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So, anyways, have a good night. 
Gonna make it rain on some big booty bras. <laughs>